guys hello i am back at the m shell home after we basically had to go home to wait for wi-fi for 14 days and the wi-fi isn't here we had a bit of drama so we've got another two weeks wait for wi-fi but we needed to come back because we have an exciting week of home things this week so i'm makeupless i'm going to start the week with some self-care which is going to be painting my terracotta plant pots my first bit of diy since i was literally in school and then i'm gonna unpack all the stuff i brought with me from this weekend and get that sorted so first stop diy i'm better equipped now <laughs> I realise I got it all over my hand, all over my watch, and all over my face. One done. Time to do another one. Now on to the big one. Hello. They're looking good. I'm impressed with myself. I can hurt you like you hurt me too. Me too. Mm -hmm. We're learning. I did quite a good job, you know. They're not meant to be like really clean inside. I'm actually really impressed. I'm gonna do another layer in a few hours, I think. They look better already. It's been better than the house is organized. Mm. Breakfast in bed. Breakfast in bed, darling. A few hours late now, still no makeup on. I think I did good, like I actually think I did a really good job. Matt was like, I didn't realize you were painting the glove as well. I just used this like spray paint. It was so much easier than I thought. I'm thinking of doing like the bit behind me. <sighs> Matt says, absolutely not. Or he was like, no, not today at least. Um, but they look so good, don't they? I think I need to get like a sealant. This looks fantastic. Tell me they brought bread. It's there. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We've got some fatouche, we've got some labneh. I could be pronouncing this wrong. Oh no, I ordered the wrong falafel. I got a falafel wrap. Oh no. But anyway, delicious. Oh my god, I did that last time. Damn. You can see my little painted pots outside. I'll show you them later today. So today is a really, really, really exciting day. Oh, you can see my outfit. It's actually really hot, but I'm shooting some autumn content, hence the knee-high boots. So I'm heading to a place called Juliet's Interiors, which is on the King's Road in Chelsea. I'm actually so excited. It's the first time to meet a proper interior designer, talk about some plans, talk about some rooms, and also just look at what they have in their showroom. So of course, I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm really kind of throwing myself into the experience of planning things and looking at different options. We got some kitchen visuals through yesterday when I actually think my idea is too plain. So it's really a learning process. So I'm gonna talk you through, guess, some of my plans. Let's just see what's gonna be said at Juliet's Interiors. I'm very excited because I've looked at their Instagram and some of the beds they have are insane, but probably a little bit too big for this place. <laughs> So if we made this in white or an off-white ivory, could be a leather or it could be the velvet with the gold detail that we have on here and then the satin in the white or the off-ivory, that's going to appeal to you and that piece will look completely different to how it looks in here on a mustard with a black background. Yeah, so it can all be kind of... Everything you see is made to different sizes, different colours, different specifications, lights on, lights off, three legs, six legs, oh, it doesn't really good. matter. So it's a starting point, you, you identify the design and then we go from that. So you may say, oh, I love that bed, but I really want it in a white with a pink velvet and I, I want it higher and I want it on a floating base. 
and that's where we would start from. So then we would have that costed up to have it manufactured exactly as you want it. So what you see is a starting point only. Oh, that's really interesting because I just see showrooms and think, okay, kind of what you see is what you get. It's good to know that it's all. The other thing we'll do is we will mix and match. Now this is very appealing because say for example, you've got a high-end lamp here, for example, so that's three, 3,200. It's exceptionally high quality, made to an amazing standard. But occasionally, I find a piece that is equally high standard. The tax bill on my favourite is 340 pounds. Ah. So we've mixed and we've matched in. And you would never have known, actually. And you would never know, because the quality of that particular one is a really good find. Yeah. And we test these products. If we see them, we test and bring them in. Bar. These are really, have you seen it? They're really in trend. Everyone's obsessed with kind of bar trolleys at the moment. But I've yeah. never seen it with like this beautiful detailing. So you might say to me, actually, I'd like to have that in a different marble. Oh, okay. Would, this is a standard piece, but we would then change the marble for you. Oh, wow. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It's such a nice little feature piece. This doesn't exist anywhere else. We've designed this. Wow. You could say to me, actually, I'd like it in white calico or Calcutta or with the gold in it. Um, I'd like I'd like a painted top. I'd like a metal base. I'd obviously want it in white. I love it. It's stunning. So that one does. I think it comes in white, and it comes in a taller version, and it comes in a. It's pink incredible. Version. My friend actually has a pink, yeah. a similar pink one. I think because it's a small space, I want to have mirrors. So that's Everywhere. the same mirror as this one, but you won't notice it oh my because gosh. that's a different size and different colour. Oh my gosh, yeah. Same one. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, a unique mirror with the LED behind it. We think it makes a big difference. And the wallpaper, yeah. we designed the wallpaper with the LEDs inside it. That wallpaper can be any type of paper. But I am here for this. This to me is just pure snug it's just so cozy but so premium and lovely i still think this isn't your style yet i'm excited to we'll see what to you think it is. that set would be designed for you not wow. in these colors it's so good that everything can just be tweaked i had no idea i always just thought that with furniture that was kind of all you could have when you go high end it's all made to order yeah it's so when good to order the price tag is going to be higher the quality is going to be higher and people expect you to be able to customize yeah it oh my gosh this mirror so that is one of our best sellers that is a client will come in and say i love the sounds. mirror and then we'll give them a section of that mirror as a sample to go away with or yeah to include it on their mood board so they can see the colors and how it's going to work Again, you say, I love it, but it's too big, too small, I do want a different colour, I want the frame half here, I want a bigger bevel, that's what we do. If you had a, a bedroom and you didn't want a headboard, we put this on the wall in your colour. It's nice detailing, isn't side. it? So yeah. It's 3D, and then you wouldn't need a headboard. Wow. And you'd have your bedside tables at the side, so it looks like one of your headboard. show you the bedroom one first because this is the one I think is more you so we started off with gathering together our thoughts with colors so you get to understand the, the, the finish of it at the same time which you can't do that on a normal 2d uh, neutrals some gold coming in some pale colors some here's some palms for the carpet colors neutral walls etc so we ended up with a floor plan looking like it's a small property We've got the staircase that's taking a lot of the space. So here you've got the light colours. At the moment, the wood panelling is in there. You you wouldn't have the black in there in the first yeah. place. But that particular it really worked. was okay with that. In yeah. your case, you would get a full visual straight away. And if we didn't impact you on the first video, yeah. go, oh my God, it's amazing, I'd be very surprised. I feel like my mum saying I'm going to hang my washing on here. Adult life. Oh, the biggest one! No, I think we might need to move out. I literally just screamed. We found the biggest spider I've ever seen. I'm not even being over dramatic, even Matt screamed. Oh my god. 
Matt was like, can you come and help me? I was like, no, I can't even go to the floor. Oh my God, how big is it? It was on top of my towel. I was trying to put my towel on the line like a good adult. Oh my God, how are you not screaming? Tell me you've got it. Oh my God, don't say it's gone somewhere. It needs to be out of the house. It's, it's too big. Find it. Oh my God, we need to find it. Oh. Oh my god. We're moving. We're moving. It's like the Zoella story when she moved into her house and had to get it fumigated. Oh it's hiding in the crevice. Have you found it? I'm shaking. Oh. oh my god. It's hiding in the crevice. Oh my god, you can see it. Bottle glass big. <laughs> we have pest control. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, is it huge? Oh my god, there's another one. We're invaded. Safely in the garden. Oh my gosh, well done. How big was that? Ginormous. Such a spider phobia. And of course, there's huge spiders in here. I've never seen anything like that. There's an actual nest there that's coming through the hole. Is it a spider? Is it a spider nest? Because if it is, I'm getting pest control in. Okay, we need to cover that. Do you actually think it's a nest? Well, there's loads of cobwebs in the hole, and I can see another spider at the top of the hole. Oh my god, right, let's block it. Oh my god, block it. <gasps> oh my god, I'm freaking out. bought me this as a moving present, which is so lovely. And we spent all of last night trying to do it, and we are. I actually thought it would be easier near the end, but it's definitely harder, isn't it? Okay. No, we We've lost all the place names now. Okay, I promise I've calmed down from all the overdramatic screaming, but in my defense, Matt said I wasn't being overdramatic and said it was one of the biggest spiders he's ever seen. So we think there's a little hole that they're maybe nesting in. Oh, that even makes me itch. But I did put a thing on Instagram on my M Shell home account, and people said that September is spider season, and also apparently conkers stop them. So we're gonna go and pick some conkers and hope that this ends after September, or once the builders have been in and sorted the skirting board. Hopefully it will be fine. So this morning at Juliet's Interiors was literally incredible. It's on the King's Road in Chelsea and it is literally divine. I wanted everything in there. We had a private consultation, so there was literally just us in there. It was like we were in a private room. Hence was not wearing masks. Obviously, if I was in an actual shop, I would be wearing a mask, but it was literally a private one-to-one -one consultation. Um, it was just incredible. So Juliet's Interiors offer interior design courses. I'll link their website below that you can kind of do from home. But they also offer interior design for your house, for your spaces, for your flat, for your property, whatever it may be. I'm sure they can do anything. From speaking to Julia, she can literally do anything. I showed her some visuals of my kitchen and her eye for design out of this world. And what's the best thing about it is I never realized, but everything can be bespoke. So you could go in there and you could find a sofa or go on their website and find a sofa and you just say, okay, I like the sofa, but actually I want the legs to be marble and they can change it for you, which I think is so important that you can personalize everything because I always have this issue with furniture where I can never find what I want because there's some element of it that I don't like, but you can literally change everything. So check their website out. I was literally blown away and we were discussing starting with the bedroom. I have builders coming to do like kitchen and everything and bathrooms, but actually we haven't really thought about the bedroom. So she's gonna pop some initial drawings and plans together for the bedroom. She showed me some plans she's done for other people and it is just so cool. So. I am probably going to do some more organising. It's looking a bit better. It's definitely hard living out of boxes. Do a little bit more organising and then we are going to have a nice feast for dinner. Broken. My pots are looking with one spray and I've kind of left them ombre inside. I kind of like it. I think I just maybe need to put a sealant on them. But I think they look really nice. So the dream plan would be for me to paint all the back white and then this wood along here white. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? In here is so beautiful. Hello, hi, the light in here is so beautiful. I've had quite a lot of messages from people saying we can sell the kitchen, which is very interesting indeed, and I need to look into it. I'm not just ripping the kitchen up for the fun of it. 
I'm not that silly. There are reasons for it. I'm gonna do like a whole video talking to you about each room, the plans, why I'm ripping everything out, but for now, it's looking quite nice, isn't it? I'm just sat working at this workstation because the office obviously isn't built yet. Um, so I'm just gonna go and organize our junk room. It's basically gonna, it's the second bedroom and it's gonna be turned into a wardrobe room. And at the moment, our life is in it. We obviously don't want to unpack everything yet because we're kind of getting everything ripped out. So I'm gonna go and try and get that organized and a bit more of an organized mess. We had a wardrobe fitter carpenter around this week and we're basically gonna do wardrobe all around here. And yeah, right now it's full of um, stuff. Organized mess, this is basically our whole life in one room. I know, and I know we need to unpack and organize it, but seeing as the building work is starting in two weeks, the electrician and stuff, there is just no point of us unpacking it right now. So there's a method in my madness, there's always a method in my madness, so it might look like a junk room but as I have said, we are doing this purely so that we can avoid unpacking to just repack again in two weeks time. So I've actually organised it in such a good way, I basically have this which has like my current clothes and that I'm wearing all the time, and then behind it my clothes are all stacked up so you've got like leggings and stuff in sections, then I've got my beauty stuff, then we have stuff in suitcases, more like seasonal things, shoes, coats and stuff. And I'm feeling actually good, then I have some kitchen stuff behind me, and then like towels and everything. So I know it looks manic, and I know it's messy, but you're just gonna have to deal with me. This is the reality of moving house, we're living out of boxes for a while, whilst the house gets tipped upside down. So we're gonna make some pizzas for dinner, and then we have an exciting day tomorrow, going to a wooden showroom. So there's so much I need to talk to you about, I need to talk to you about wardrobe rooms, kitchen, everything. You've got a lot of moving vlogs coming your way, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog, things are getting moving, and I'm so excited to share everything with you. So I will see you guys next week for another moving vlog probably. Um, don't forget to say hi at mshellx and mshellhome. Bye!